Okay, let's begin making a few animations for our human. The first one's going to be very simple. We're going to raise our arms and then lower our arms. So, let's do this in Blender. So, if you want to set up the same as me, I've actually got three panels. So, in addition to my 3D viewport and my timeline, I've also got the dope sheet underneath. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and we're going to have a look. So this is our starting position. But what we're going to do is we're going to start lower. So I'm going to select this IK bone. I'm going to grab and I'm going to bring it down. About here will do nicely. Don't worry about what happens to the shoulders for now. Uh, if you like you can just bring that out a little bit more. Just make sure that it's extended and we'll do the same on this side. That will do nicely. And what we do is when working with an armature we make sure everything is selected in pose mode. And I'm going to make sure that the correct keyframe is selected so I'm going to select frame 1. And oh, what's happened here? So make an once you're on the appropriate keyframe, make sure everything is selected, press I, and then we're going to insert location rotation scale. Next we're going to choose our end frame, which I'm going to say is going to be 40. It's not necessarily going to be the end frame for our animation, but it's going to be where we want our arms to stop rising. So. We're going to select the IK bones again and we're going to press G to bring them up. I want to keep them extended and I think I want to move this forward. And I want to do the same for this side. Don't worry if the IK bone becomes detached from the arm. It just sh all that shows is that your arm should be straightened. So there we go. That looks pretty good. Make sure everything is selected. Very important point. Make sure everything is selected. Press I and insert location rotation scale. Now let's play our animation, but before we do that, we're just going to set the animation to 60 frames in length so that we don't get too much meaningless frames. And if we press play, we've got ourselves an animation. As I said before, it looks weird at the shoulders, that's mainly because the elbows are bending. So don't worry too much about that, but we are now going to get rid of the bending elbows. So to do that is very simple. Because Blender automatically inserts what it thinks should be created in each frame in between your start and finish, we simply give it another reference point. So if we pause the animation, bring it back to the start and then go to frame 20, this is what we can see at the moment. So at the moment our elbows are being bent inwards. Let's solve this issue because we don't want this. We're going to straighten this out. Make sure it's nice and straight on both sides. And roughly level. I'd say the left arm is a little bit too high up. There we go. Make sure everything is selected and then press I, location rotation scale. And now if we look, a little bit of bending, but not too much. If we want to get rid of that bending at the start, obviously we can see after frame 20 there's no bending whatsoever. But if we want to get rid of that bending at the start, we can go to frame 10 and repeat the process. Now I've just gone into weight paint mode so make sure that 
you avoid that if possible I need to go back into pose mode there we go select my IK rig and just make sure that they're stretched out nicely so now I can select everything again one more time insert location rotation scale and there we go a straight arm raise fantastic of course you can always view this without the uh, what am I saying without the armature visible just press H to hide alt H to bring it back but with H to hide we can still play our animation okay so that's how we can create an animation where we raise our arms very basic animation what I want guys for you to do now is you have a challenge so before we go on to that challenge just make a note that when we hide what's being animated even though the animation still applies to our mesh we can actually see that the frames the keyframes have disappeared on both the timeline and the dope sheet so make a note that you can't edit those while the armature is invisible so let's make that visible again and your challenge now is I want you to extend the total length to 90 frames per second and using frame 40 as the starter point I want you to create the reverse effect for the remainder of the animation so from 0 to 40 we raised our arms and from 40 to 80 as a little hint of where you should stop you should re-lower your arms back to roughly their original position do that now guys and I will see you in the next lecture